5k so na unapata iko very expensive na ukiona watu wakikimbia pasubuhi au ni watu wenyewe mwandikuwa na daktari you have kukimbia ndio uweze kupunguza weight again unapata the specialist if wana pay na advice ama advice wanasema unafaa kula ugali kidogo na sukuma ziwe mingi but inakuwa ni vice versa sisi tunatumia ugali kubwa and then unapata sukuma ni kidogo so unapata tunaend up kukula tu a lot of carbohydrates zenye ambazo zinafanya mwili na kuwa tuko tu unakaa tu kaa zuzu umeregea tu watu wamenona kila mahali huku kama <laughs> chata ni siongeze hiyo point <laughs> i don't think it is true because with the Kenya we have today and the economy we are facing is very difficult. Living, eating is very hard nowadays. Siku nyingine unakura ugali na sturungi. So I don't know where that obesity is coming from and the life is so hard. Uh, facts of life, you know, you can almost relate. I could see everybody here laughing because yo, you will want your ugali to be more in that plate. And then bogani kadogo. Sometimes it's because we are bogani expensive, you know. I was talking to one of my colleagues, actually three of us, we're just trying to say what are the basics of life in terms of food, you know, at home. Ni ugali, mchele, after dini, ukienda sana, sijuri mokiboki bahati, ukienda sana ni githeri, you know, you just play around that area. And like I had said earlier on, that despite being stalked by hunger that uh, you know more than about three p million people are classified as acutely food insecure the country is also grappling with the rising challenges of obesity and so by 2030 it is estimated that about 1.4 million kenyan children that is between the ages of 5 and 19 will be obese what will it take for us to reverse the statistics after this short break <laughs> 